Diabetes can lead to a list of health issues from high blood pressure to liver and pancreas damage. Now, November has been designated Diabetes Awareness Month, and doctors are working to raise awareness about the impact diabetes can have on your body. Joining me now live is Dr. Tambi Jarmi from the Mayo Clinic Transplant Center to share more details about some options for people uh, with this disease. So thank you for joining us, joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, this transplant and of the pancreas and how it works exactly? Uh, pancreas transplant is an alternative to the current uh, treatment uh, options for patients with diabetes. Uh, currently, they use uh, chronic insulin, most uh, of type 1 diabetic patients. And the type 2 diabetic patients, they use oral agents to control their blood sugar. Pancreas transplant uh, simply is just to replace their uh, pancreas the organ that's responsible for the insulin with a new uh, organ that works just fine and just normal and restore what we call normal glycemic uh, status of the patient. So the patient will not be diabetic anymore and they will be cured from diabetes. So you, you said be cured from diabetes. So is this uh, officially considered a cure? It is actually the only uh, treatment right now that uh, achieved the normal glycemic, which is the normal blood glucose that I have and probably you have. So yes, they will not be a diabetic patient after the pancreas transplant. There is no need to do any diabetic monitoring after the pancreas transplant. Wow, that is amazing because, you know, for so many years, uh, people have been saying there hasn't been a cure. So that's really interesting. So I know one statistic indicates approximately 1,000 pancreas transplants are performed annually. So why is that number so low? Uh, unfortunately, you're right. The number is uh, very uh, suboptimal the way we look at it because the uh, number of diabetic patients is, is significantly high and we do have such treatment for them. I think main issue is education and awareness. A lot of patients do not know that this treatment is available. They do not know uh, transplant centers that uh, in their area that could do pancreas transplants, such as Mayo Clinic here. So I think it's mainly awareness and education. That's, that's the only reason that I could see why this is not a popular uh, treatment option for these patients. Okay, that makes sense. So who would be a good candidate for a pancreas transplant? Uh, we believe, you know, there are certain criteria uh, the transplant community have agreed on uh, to consider a patient for pancreas transplant. But uh, to make it simple, any diabetic patients that is struggling with their his or her diabetes management in terms of achieving good control, developing complications, access to medications, these patients are a perfect candidate for a pancreas transplant because we could restore their life technically and cure their diabetes. Wow, uh, and can anyone uh, be a donor? Pancreas transplant in the United States is only uh, done by or from organs from a deceased donors. So technically there is no uh, life donor for a pancreas transplant in the United States. And we assess every potential deceased donor as a pancreas transplant. We do have organ availabilities, but we don't have patients to take these organs. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Tambi Jarmi for sharing this really important information. I know this is gonna help a lot of people who didn't really know there is a cure for diabetes. So thank you again for joining us this morning. Right. You're welcome, thank you so much.